So how, how long do you think the dog should should come back for to be treated again? Well, they say it's, uh, you've got to bring him back within a year, okay? But, um, you know, in the, uh, okay, I'll give it a year straight away. Yeah. But uh, what happens with me, I'll do, I'll only do the dogs once with electric collar, all right? I never do them on a lead, all right? So just electric collar. And what happens is, the next time you bring them back to me, no electric collar, let's see what they do. Because that's what they do out in the bush. Mm. Right? You know, if you keep putting that electric collar on and the lead on, mm. that's a, it becomes a, that's two things that the dog had on it before he smelt one of these. Mm. Mm. So, once you take those away, hang on a minute, we're left with the bird. Oh, well that was the third thing down the track, mm. you know. And so will you let my dog off lead here? Or yep. Everything yep. I cool. do, I do it off lead. Yep. That's, that's like for me, yep. it takes a long time to put a dog through the yep. course. But I prefer it like that, because yep. the dog can work it out at his own speed. Yep. Where the other way, when you leave, mm. you're actually forcing the dog to do it. And then you give him a shock and he looks at you because you're holding on to it. Right. So man, lead, lick your collar, mm. force thing down the line. So in terms of a, of a guarantee for the dog, mm. uh, so you'll guarantee that this training will, will, will stop the dog? Well, I haven't had it come back yet. Yep. Okay, you know, yep. one day there will be, you know. Yep. And yeah. I've got the contractors, yeah. so the contractors are working in those blocks yeah. with feet, yeah. without a muzzle on. Mm. Mm. So you're a private, are you, this is a yeah. private, mm. you do this yeah. privately, you're not yeah. contracting I'm not, the government? I'm, I'm, this is doc, okay, no matter what it is, at the end of the paper, say it's all doc paper. But the thing is, I prefer to sort of to be a little mm. bit independent, because what happens is, I find that you can get locked down in the system and you can't change it because the biggest thing is, is actually listening to the hunters. Mm -hmm. If you listen to the hunters, you can change it to suit mm -hmm. both sides, mm -hmm. both parties, you know, campers, whatever it is. So have you had any radio from, um, in terms of, of the shock, the, the collar, using the collar? No, I train my dogs uh, on their temperament. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, if, if you, I always think that you've got to read the dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the dog will tell you what, how much you can give them. Mm. Not anti yeah, yeah, because yeah. this is not about the dog at the end of the day, this is about ki kiwis. That's right. You know, it's about saving yeah. kiwis, you know, yeah. and so, no, yeah. I'm all for what works for my dog, you know, yeah. and, and like I want a guarantee, I want a guaranteed uh, solution, so you know, not, not a half by solution, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. No, I'm because good what, what happens is when he comes back and we run him without that liquid collar, mm. Well, then you'll know whether yeah, he's limp or not. Yeah, That's the yeah. guarantor. No, no. Like uh, Martin would, you know, you think, oh, see, it's only for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, but they come back a year later, yeah. and then it's my assessment to, yeah. I can either put them on two years or I can move them up. But usually I move them up because what happens is you're going to have to start, they dogs stay out there, eh, mate? They go around and around. Mm. Yeah, you know, and that's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, too, is if, I, if it wasn't working, you know, I've got about 700 food dogs. You know, they say the buck dogs and stuff like that. But they come along to this course, they do this, but they still do, you know, the bucks and the feed and what they're supposed to do. And that's actually, a, this is a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you brought your dog all the way up from Wellington? Yeah, no, yes I did, yes. She's only a, only a young dog, you know, so I've, un I've only just started hunting her, but um, but I brought her up because um, to get onto dog land now and to get a permit, you have to prove um, ownership of uh, your registration, microchipping, and now Kiwi aversion. And so, um, so yeah, I bought her for that. But, you know, and I was asking really about electric shocks, you know, and shocking the dog and all that sort of thing. Um, and, and I understand that there's some issues around that, but for me personally, it's not about the dog, it's about saving kids, you know, and so, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why I've come yeah. to do my dog, it's about awesome. saving kids.